cold with your decor. But have you ever thought to yourself, I want that accent piece, but I've got to figure out a way to make it meld into my space. Shai DeLuca Tomasi has the answer for us today. Hey, Shai. That's an amazing piece here. So here's the thing, when you put like two designers in a room and give them one floor plan, what do you get? A million different okay. variations on the same thing because you know, we think so many different things, but the one thing that we all agree on yeah. is that every space has to have a focal point. That's true. And in order to have a focal point, the easiest way to do that is to have a great accent piece. Mm -hmm. Now, what is an accent piece? Because you know, before the show, I was talking to some people getting, what do you think an accent piece is? There's two kind of definitions of it. People People will think okay. accent piece, is it a small thing that I put into a room to accent something else? Or what people think of as an accent wall, perhaps like a pop of color on a wall or something like that. So what we're gonna do, and we're gonna jump off using an accent piece as more of a statement piece. Okay. So. You know what, this is a statement, but so is your jacket. Okay. I just have to say, <laughs> you should actually be the accent in this room. There you go. Okay, yeah. let's start with your first point, which is start small. Yeah, smart, start small. So if you're uncomfortable doing this, I always say, choose something small to kind of jump off of. So whether right. it's a small chair, maybe a stool. So for example, if I were to do something like this, but in the pattern and the pillow that you have next to you, Trace, oh, which yeah, is kind of that, yeah, yeah the animal print, yeah. that could be a great accent starting small. That's so true. it's not overwhelming. Now, I might have done this once or twice in my life. So <laughs> I went a little bit big here. Right. Uh, and this is my accent. And this is really going to be then the star of the show. Absolutely. So, so when you think about it for a second, you think about when I'm designing a room, there should be that one star and everybody else is the supporting cast. That's right, there can okay. only be one star, That's people. That's right, okay. right there. <laughs> Make sure it shines. <laughs> all right, your next point is consider scale and proportion. This is really important. I mean, this is kind of overall concept you really have to keep in mind when you're designing a space, but all the more important when you're using a really vibrant accent piece. Mm -hmm. So this has really big kind of waves and lines in it. So we wanna make sure that the other supporting pieces that are in the room are not taking away from it, but really playing to it. Mm -hmm. So how have we done that here? The first thing that you might think an accent piece needs to be is a bold pop of color. But instead of pop of color here, we're using the texture and the pattern and the artwork to really be the accent. And then everything else here works with it, but isn't really meeked by it. And what do I mean by that? Every piece here in and of itself, looking together with this on its own, works together. Let's start, for example, with the sheds. Yep. Okay, so I mean, that is a fantastic piece. I just want to take a nap. Right? This is so good. I might have had to sleep on it before we started. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a fantastic piece. Uh, by the way, I want to uh, uh, thank LT. Everything here is from LT, of course. Now, that piece there, that fur on it, gives it that extra oomph, that extra something. Mm -hmm. But because it's black, it works really well with what you have here, and it's not taking away from my focal point, That's from right. my accent. Okay, nothing else is either because you've almost pulled all the colors from your your accent and you're you're going along with that with the rest of well, your Well, you got it. And I mean pieces. it's in a, in a couple different ways. I mean, even if you look at this beautiful I coffee know, I table. Love that. Isn't that great? So it has that like bone detail yeah. in it. Beautiful. So the colorways work, but another nod to something connecting is also, for example, you have the uh, animal print there, mm -hmm. and then you also have this bone detail here which kind of is a connection. Look at the lines in the rug. That is also a connection. So really each piece on its own should work with that yes. and then everything together should work together. Now you should pick your patterns wisely, yeah. you say. So you've talked a little bit about the patterns. Yeah, so when we picking patterns wisely is crucial when you're working with more than one pattern. And yeah. there's a couple ways to do that. So the easiest way and the tip that we can give people at home is try to keep your more abstract patterns with abstract patterns and try to keep your more figurative patterns with your figurative patterns. So I, in this space here, I wouldn't really put a big over the top floral because it would almost fight with everything else that you have here. Right. So this is a really abstract piece of art here. I have the geometry on the uh, on the rug, the really linear lines, but then again, the softer lines in the animal print that you have over there. It could be carried out into something as simple as like these straps on the, on the arms of the chair here. Mm -hmm. Something super simple, but it all, again, works together. It all works together. Go with your gut. I think that this is a piece of advice that we can use in so many different areas of our life. Yes. When it comes to your decor, though, you really got to listen to what's going on. 
going on? You know, 100%. I think, you know, we as designers are hired because a lot of people don't really uh, believe in what they're feeling when it comes to their space. Yeah. And the one thing that I will tell every client that we start with is you sometimes, your eyes are almost your own best designer. You might not know why something works or why something doesn't quite feel right, mm -hmm. but for you in your space, you're able to stand back and look at the space together and say, Ugh, something doesn't work right. And it might not be technical. It might not be that the pattern doesn't work with the pattern or the scale and the proportion might be off, but it might be something that's not reading, it's not reading you right. So right. it's not something that that's working kind of like in your mind. So it's really important to be able to stand back and say, how do I feel about it? This is my space. I'm living in it. Mm -hmm. Am I going to enjoy this space? Is it totally off? Uh, something really important. So we are our own best designers and really, uh, um, you know, trust your eyes. Right. You're yeah. talk yourself out of a job, D my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Just trust yourself. Anyway, don't worry. You don't need a designer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, so, yep. so that was really important. So, so those are the four tips. If you get that done and, like I say, start small at the beginning, mm -hmm. you're going to be a pro in no time.